And now it's time for Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup, Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher, by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, rock god Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup right here next to Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. We have a great guest in our studio here. Matt Q, Matt Quinnell from AFCO is here. We're going to be talking some great, great stuff that AFCO puts out to all the anglers out there, making stuff that fishermen wear and use for sure. So you stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat, Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot by icons and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Hey, it's time for the 30-second Power Pro Seminar. Here's the hot tip for those of us that like to fish with small reels for big fish. Fill your spools with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro. That means you're going to get more line on that small reel. Plus, you can fly line your bait more effectively. Here's another tip about Power Pro Max Quattro. Your casting distance will increase in addition to increasing your spool capacity. So downsize your tackle and use Power Pro Max Quattro. Check PowerPro.com for more information. Your San Diego County Ford dealer knows that vehicles are not one size fits all and they have a variety to choose from to suit your individual wants and needs. Looking for a truck to handle both work and play? The legendary F-150 has you covered with its military-grade aluminum alloy body and high-strength steel frame and smart technology, like the available Pro Trailer Backup Assist to help you back up your boat with the turn of a dial. Or do you need a vehicle that's ready for your next adventure? The Ford Ranger is standing by so grab your gear and let's go. This adventure-ready truck has an available terrain management system that has four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Is an SUV more your speed? No problem. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have those too. The 2020 Ford Explorer has been completely redesigned inside and out and has available third-row power fold seats to easily accommodate more passengers or cargo and available twin-panel moonroof to let the outdoors in. Visit by Ford now.com to learn more or visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup, man. Going to be a great time today. Talking fishing, talking AFCO. Going to be yeah. a good one. Another beautiful day in Southern California. Jeez, watching been our so nice yeah, lately. Watching our Let's Talk Hookup uh, eight-day ride-down flyback trip on the Royal Star. Load, they're loading right to now. House. I, I should be going on that trip. <laughs> I was scheduled to go on that trip, but this foot thing right. set me off. So the, the, This was a really good timed trip, too, because that lower, oh. lower banks is really really biting 
hitting well right oh, now. Oh, man. Our uh, good buddy. Big ones. Yeah, our good buddy Tim Turris. Tim Turris, had, I saw that. Yeah, uh, two had back-to-back 300-pounders. Uh, no, you know, really? For, first day fishing on the lower banks, had a 370, uh, you know, all-time, lifetime, big giant yellowfin. The next day, walks up, gets a 305. Oh, <laughs> double, double super yeah. cows. And that trip is so perfect that this uh, Let's Talk hookup trip right yeah. now, because it's an eight-day, it's an 811, so it's an eight-day that flies home from Cabo. So if right. you didn't fly home, it'd be a They have a lot of day. fishing time in eight days. You could literally fish the last evening. Like, you could fish into dark the yeah. last evening and then wake up the next where morning that and fly is. home. Yeah, so it's right perfect. down there. Yep, so good cool. luck to all of them. I know they have some some highlighters yeah, on that some trip, heavy too. Some real, including our buddy, the Mr. Insurance himself, Bob Dawson's going, too. Oh, cool. So we're looking forward. He's actually going to represent Let's Talk Hookup, giving away all the great Shimano and AFCO products that we put on That's the boat. Awesome. So Yeah, and then, of course, we have the, the Royal Polaris. Uh, seven day that leaves on Tuesday that Dave Dolan's going to be uh, watching over for us. So uh, both those guys are going to have some great times. We just need to get off the injured reserve list. And uh, get yeah, back no fishing. kidding, man. I'm, re- I'm ready to go fishing. Yeah. No kidding. I finally got that boot off. Yeah, though. good. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Getting improving, but slowly. Yeah, like you know that program uh, very well. Yeah, <laughs> frustratingly hey, well. Matt Quinnell is or, is here, and uh, Matty Q, we call him. Good morning, Matt. <laughs> Matt? Morning. How you guys doing? Now you you grew up in. Uh, in Let's Talk Hookup, basically, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, from a young age, my dad and I were down at the landing at all the lives. And, you know, every Saturday and Sunday was, you know, tradition. You wake up, Let's Talk Hookup from 7 to 9, and then kind of move on with your day. So it's a <laughs> cool experience to be on with you guys. Oh, uh, well, it's the second time you've been with us, and you did a great job last time. I was like, we got to have Matt Q back. <laughs> I love and, it. And I know your mom works at AFCO, and your dad's uh, still heavily involved. You guys still go fishing together? Oh, yeah. You know, um, you know, yeah, my mom works at AFCO. She's been there going on 12 years now. Um, and then my dad and I, you know, he he definitely fishes more than me being retired these days. Yeah. Uh, but we did go uh, probably like two weeks ago to St. Nick to do some rock fishing. and uh, Nice. So it's fun, you know, get out when we can. Uh, he gets out once a week. So it's cool to see him, you know, enjoying that. He's definitely deserved it over the years. He so. just rubs it in while you're working, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. He, he, he doesn't hesitate to remind me who's the better fisherman. Let's yeah. say that. <laughs> that, well, good for him. Glad he's getting out there. And you put your time in. Oh, yeah. You got to put your time in. You get out there. Well, hey, so what's happening at AFCO? A lot of great stuff, huh? What a great... Great crazy 2020 for yeah you, guys. you know it's uh it, this year has been interesting i think uh for everyone you know going into march and april the world was like you know what's going to happen what are we going to do right. and things have just picked up so dr- dramatically you know the sport fishing industry and the outdoor industry is up so much um there's more people you know actively fishing and hunting it's just been really good for our business so we're we're excited we're finishing the year strong and looking forward to uh, 2021 yeah so what's new and exciting from afco yeah. you know I think the last time I was here, we had just introduced Reaper, which is our uh, hoodie that has the face mask built right. in. Um, and that craze is still occurring today. We have the second generation, which is the windproof version. Um, and we literally can't keep them in stock. Uh, so it's, it's a great problem to have. And, um, you know, that coupled with new designers who are bringing even better outerwear to the team, which I didn't think was possible. Um, you know, that's occurring as well. So, I mean, we're just growing. That's uh, cool. You know, that Reaper is... Awesome. You know, I have one, and they. It, it, you don't think that putting that on, you're going to be as warm as you are when you wear that Reaper. It you, it's yeah. it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's it's great, and the cool thing about it is it's got the DWR coating, so you can get it bloody, you can get it wet, um, and it's kind of everything we need as offshore fishermen, especially here in SoCal. I mean, it doesn't get super cold, but it definitely takes the chill off when you wear the Reaper. It's like you know, this offshore. morning you're running you're running to get offshore, like you know that you're going to be fishing in board shorts and t-shirts by lunchtime, but you need something more than that right. to start off with. Yeah. So it's been great. It's been a great addition to the line. And, you know, as well as we have new performance uh, that launched uh, earlier in the year. Uh, we call it our Aero Mesh, which is lighter than our Samurai shirt. It dries quicker. Whoa. Uh, yeah. So it's it's been really good. It's really taken off. So what's the advantage of that Aero Mesh? Um, so the, the main thing, it's really light. It breathes better. Um, it has the same UPF rating as the Samurai, but overall just the feel. Um, and it does dry a lot quicker. Yeah. And and so in heat, when you're, when you're, when you're in hot weather, it's, it's going to keep you cooler. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, fantastic. Cool. Now, what about on the tackle side? You know, uh, it's been about a year since Greg retired, and we brought Robbie on from Shimano. Um, and he's just grown that line tremendously. You know, when Greg's last uh, project before he left was our knives and our fluorocarbon, um, and Robbie has expanded that into a new 7- and 9-inch flex fillet from the 
three other knives that we had in the line. Um, and then with our... And now, is that still a Boker German steel? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. it's still a Boker German steel, um, you know, full tank construction. Your guys' deal with that was, you know, make a make a fisherman fillet knife that you're going to have around forever. Like, not, not try to reinvent. Just th- those guys already make, in your opinion, one of the best blades around. Let's, let's then take that and build a, a perfect SoCal fillet knife. Yeah, you know, that's the AFCO model, really. You know, when, we, when Bill, Casey, and Cody were putting a new item together, it's never... Uh, a focus on price it's more of what can we put together that's the best mm. on the market and that people are going to use and it's going to you know enhance their experience and that's kind of our motto with the knives and then even the fluorocarbon now i mean we've expanded to larger spools and robbie's also working on things that you know people will see later in uh 2021 to expand that cycle line cool yeah so the new flex knife to, it's how is that differ from the original afco knife um so the the blades are a little bit thinner and they just have a little bit more flex so if you're working around you know bones and the spine and stuff like that you have a little bit more play in the knife for your traditional uh eight ten and uh twelve which we had uh prior a little bit more stiff in the blade um you know not as much uh maneuverability as you would have with the new flex fillets Cutting rockfish halibut that kind of stuff exactly okay. and okay. the seven inch also plays into you know over the last couple of years, AFCO has gained a lot of momentum in the freshwater world. So people who are, you know, flaying some of the freshwater fish, they don't need the 8 and 10 and 12. So they're going to go with the 7 and maybe the 9. Okay. Got it. Good. And what about the Psycho Pro? To explain, uh, uh, that's a great fluorocarbon. Yeah, you guys. That, yeah. It seems like this was the year that it really got legs under it and took off yeah i mean it's been around i know for a while and we've been fishing it we've been fishing it with success for a couple of years now but this this really seemed like it was the year that that fluorocarbon really took off yeah you know um our marketing team is great we have a lot of great guys on the pro staff so just kind of seeding it you know naturally to them and letting them use it kind of word just got out that hey you know this stuff is super abrasive uh resistant um it f- lays great on a reel fish is great um and just having that, it's expanded, especially, you know, there's been some uh, inventory issues throughout the industry. AFCO always has inventory, so that's been another great thing is, you know, when people don't have other brands, they call us and we stock the shelf. And mm-hmm. just naturally, people are using it more and realizing that's nice. It, it very, like, organically became a line that was used on a lot of the long-range boats. You know, I mean, that that has happened from people, you know, here, you use this fluorocarbon, it's free. And, okay, yeah, we, we like this. But that one, like, that that wasn't your push at all. They just, you know, it was, it was an option that they saw getting used and then and then fully accepted it you know like very organically happened not like pushed on them by a you know yeah. advertising people and that, that's the great thing about afco you know as as big as our marketing department's got um and we have a lot of print ads and digital and stuff like that we still truly believe in the grassroots uh you know marketing as far as getting it in people's hands the right people's hands um who, who can speak to it and offer up um you know critique if there's issues with mm-hmm. it and that we can fix but i mean the line's been really a home run um you know sunline japan is the one who produces it for us and they're the biggest freshwater water fluorocarbon manufacturer in the world um so having their expertise you know coupled with what we need as you know west coast fishermen and you know east coast fishermen it's really worked out well so is it is it more saltwater oriented than freshwater um so yeah so our psycho line is strictly freshwater um strictly saltwater salt salt water yeah Yeah. and in some line they make freshwater okay so yeah so they they keep the freshwater side then you guys exactly do the saltwater side right oh very good so okay matt's going fishing with his dad and what What's Matt going to put on in a cold early morning Southern California day like today? So uh, if it was today, I mean, we're, you know, probably 55, 60. Out. I'd probably start out with our gamma ray pant. Um, it's a nice breathable uh, DWR ripstop type fabric. Um, it has a lot of great stretch. And then I would couple that with a samurai shirt for layering on and then a, a reaper. Um, and then probably a beanie early in the morning. Okay. And then, uh, you know, just kind of the nice thing about layering, a lot of people don't realize is if you layer throughout the day, oh, it's getting a little warm, take the Reaper off. Your sunshirt's yeah. already on. Um, so that's probably how I'd start out. And oh, all right. Work my way into shorts if it got a little warm. Shorts later <laughs> on, yeah. yeah. And now you have this, uh, the one of the new jackets on, the puffer, right? Yes, yeah, so I have the puffer fish. So this is a, a really nice, like, down jacket that we... Um, introduced the line we had adder last year so this right. is like the next version i was wearing the adder this morning so. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so the great thing about puffer fish it's same concept it's a little bit less of a fill that's a 600 uh fill and this is a 300 uh-huh. but the exterior, but still down still down um but the exterior is a little bit softer so it's not as loud as uh, like adder if you're kind of moving around it gets a little scratchy this doesn't have that effect to it yeah 
All right. So. Yeah, it's a nice, nice looking jacket. Thank you. Yeah, and and really keeps good. you warm, right? It does. The down. Cool. Yeah, every day yeah. in the office, I, uh, in, in the morning, I wear this. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. Matt's a wealth of knowledge about all kinds of aspects of fishing and tackle and AFCO. And boy, has he brought a great prize this morning. <laughs> You're not kidding me. Yeah, we're going to have a great time. Lots of, lots of great info to cover and talk about this morning. If you want to join us, we want to hear from you. Give us a call at 833 2880973. Again, 833-288-0973. That's how you reach us on Let's Talk Hookup this morning. Also, give us a text. That's been a very fun option in addition to the show. Shoot us a text via the Let's Talk Hookup app. We always say it's the easiest way to stay in touch with Let's Talk Hookup. Certainly the easiest way to listen to the show. Just download the free app anywhere you would get your apps on your your iPhone in the App Store, Google Play, and your uh, Android device. Totally free download. You can listen to the show, and there's a tab right on there to text the show. Make sure you let us know who you are, where you're calling from, and unfortunately, we can't reach you back, but uh, it's a really fun way to get your questions over to Matt or and put your input into the show and Absolutely. a lot of fun. And hey, like you said, man, Matt has given us a killer prize. One lucky caller at the end of today's show is going to be hooked up on both the clothing side and the tackle side. So you're going to get a brand new camo reaper. So the, the, the exact, you know, hoodie performance thing that we've been talking about, it's, it's a really high end soft, you know, t- traditional hoodie, but it's water resistant. It's basically windproof. It's got the face shield when it's cold, you can kind of pull it up and when, when Keep your neck warm yeah, and, and when yeah. you don't want it, it's not in the way. It's right. just a really, really cool technical piece of gear. And there's no, surprise it has become like the most popular thing you guys have done it's just right so you're going to be really hooked up with that that new camo reaper and then on the tackle side you're going to get that brand new seven inch flex fillet knife that we've been talking about the new afco knife and you're going to get two spools of 40 pound psycho pro how about that for a prize pack that's one heck of a prize pack no doubt again if you want to get your shot at these great goods or better yet your chance to talk to maddie 833-288-0973 when we come back we're going to be taking your phone calls lots of great info coming your way you stay tuned you're listening to southern california's sport fishing voice this is let's talk hook up on the let's talk hook up app and radio network when it comes to southern california sport fishing two names stand out fisherman's landing tackle and shimano hi this is doug kern we have the most complete selection of shimano saltwater rods and reels like talica trinidad and tranks reels plus terramar and therese rods our professional saltwater experts at fisherman's landing tackle have the know-how to help you choose the right shimano rod and reel for your next trip when it comes to shimano gear you owe it to yourself to visit us at fisherman's landing tackle at fisherman's landing in san diego or on the web at saltwatertackle.com fisherman's landing is the top choice in local and long-range fishing our hard-working crew is always looking for ways to improve your fishing experience we offer the finest open party trips the best charter boats available and of course our world-renowned long-range fleet fisherman's landing is now a full service sport fishing operation offering great half and full day open party trips book online at fisherman'slanding.com i'll see you at fisherman's landing in san diego one of the dream trips for most anglers is alaska there are so many lodges how do you make a choice it's easy choose the one most let's talk hookup listeners return to time after time kingfisher charters in sitka alaska no one does it better than kingfisher charters they offer the best service the most comfortable accommodations fantastic food and the finest charter captains in sitka all for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target, the expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfisherchargers.com. Filet knives shouldn't be disposable. Introducing Aftco Filet Knives that are built to last. Designed in collaboration with Boker Germany, Aftco Knives feature 4116 German stainless steel bonded with titanium nitride to ensure optimum corrosion resistance and exceptional edge retention. A non-slip TPR handle maintains a firm grip when processing game fish. Premium in every sense, Aftco filet knives are available in multiple length options to provide the right tool 
that gets the job done season after season. Filet knives from AFCO. Any fish, any water. Let's talk candidly about long-range fishing. This is Captain Frank Capresti of the Royal Polaris and the Shogun. Nowhere on earth will you find a fleet of long-range boats like we have in San Diego. We are fortunate to have several top-notch operations to take you to the most productive fishing grounds in the world. We all offer good food, comfortable staterooms, huge bait capacity, and top-of-the-line fish-finding electronics. So why would you choose the Royal Polaris or the Shogun for your next long-range trip? What sets us apart from the rest? It's pretty simple. The boats, the crew, and the service. From the moment you arrive at Fisherman's Landing, the service begins. We help you load your gear and do everything possible to get beginners or seasoned veterans ready to catch fish. When it's time to fish, the Royal Polaris and the Shogun have the edge there too, delivering the two best fishing platforms in the fleet. But don't take my word for it. Come fishing with us. If you want the best, it's Royal Polaris and the Shogun. For more information, call 619-226-8030 or on the web at at royalplarissportfishing.com or shogunsportfishing.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup, man. Having a great time already this morning. Phones are packed solid. There's so yeah. much so much info to talk about with all this stuff. It's going to be a great one. They want to talk to Matt. And if Texas are rolling, too, we have yeah. a lot of people on our app uh, doing the doing uh, the text roll out there. So if you want to get through, there's your chance. Let's go ahead and jump into those jam-packed phones. Let's get to that. You got it, buddy. Why don't we start it off this morning with Cheer. Cheer's calling us from Cardiff. Good morning, Cheer. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, Rick. Hi, Pete. Hey, cheer. And hello, Matt. I uh, appreciate you being on today because I'm in the market for a rain jacket. And uh, I noticed that you guys are selling the Solitude, that 2.5L. Um, can you talk about that jacket a little bit and also the sizing on that thing? Good question. Absolutely. So uh, Solitude has been a really popular item for us. Uh, it's a really great 10K waterproofing um, shell. Uh, you know, it's made of a ripstop fabric. It's got a DWR coating, so you don't have to worry about any type of blood or gut stain so in it. DWR is just the stain proofing ish or resisting or whatever like is yeah that, is so that fair to say yeah it stands for direct water repellent but that also has to do with uh, the stain resistancy in the in the jacket um, but solitude is great for southern california fishing you know you want to layer underneath it with a nice fleece you know reaper or shadow hoodie um, that'll get you out there keep you dry uh, we also have a solitude pant that we sell that kind of makes a what we would you know look at as a price point so it's 200 dollars for the whole thing um but you know i use that all the time i think it'd be a great choice solitude is probably oh, it, it, one of if not our single most popular jacket that we always sell at the tackle store because it works really good and it's relatively inexpensive it's not cheap but it's a it's a hundred bucks for a full very waterproof jacket yes but the biggest like thing, real waterproof oh yeah, yeah. the yeah. biggest thing that we always have, that we have a lot of issue in southern california especially fishing wise that, that we bump into in the tackle store is more often than not our guys need a jacket that's waterproof not necessarily a jacket that's very warm you know like if you're coming home from a skiff, you want to deal with spray more than anything else. Like if you want to keep warm, you put a sweatshirt on and then you put this thing over the top and it's hard to find a jacket that is that waterproof, but not super insulated and, you know, makes you hot. Like you could wear this thing all the time. Yeah. And, and the great thing about it, it's, it's lightweight. Um, and like you said, for skiff fishing, you can actually pack it up into a really small, oh, totally. you yeah. know, uh, ball and, you know, pack it under your seat or in a bag. So it's a definitely a great option. Good, good jacket. I, I have funny story several years ago um i was visiting oregon and you know being a southern california guy it's like well what's the difference between water resistant and waterproof it's a, you know it's good enough right <laughs> well not in oregon <laughs> no when you you if you want to go to a wet climate like oregon or washington or alaska or something like that you don't want water resistant let me put it <laughs> that way because mm, i was with harry gualco fishing okay. for salmon and 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 uh it started doing the usual thing that it does in oregon and it started raining i had this really nice jacket that like soft shell I, good yeah, looking really, like, yeah I mean, it's waterproof <laughs> well no it's water resistant <laughs> yeah. so yeah it was soaked i uh, gotcha yeah. so that's why you want waterproof waterproof right? yeah that's the way to go so uh water resistance great but the problem with that is eventually the fibers will break down and it'll start to yeah. seep through waterproof you don't have that option like the puffer puffer fish is water resistant yeah or i know that uh pete you like to wear the horizon jacket yes love um, that jacket it's a great jacket but that's more of a water repellent uh where the solitude would be more water 
waterproof. So like yeah. it's a typical Southern California mog morning where it's kind of foggy and kind of overcast and it's, you know, it's like dewy out. You're going to stay dry in that. Right. Rainstorm, you're not going to. Yeah. You, you want you'd waterproof. be a little wet. Yeah. <laughs> the, so the horizon does resist water, though. It, it does. Yeah. So the horizon. But it does. But it's not waterproof. Not waterproof. So it does have a, a membrane in between the layers that actually will keep the water out usually in light mist for about an hour and then it'll start to break down so you'll want that solitude jacket to keep you fully dry you um so comfortable though one yeah. of the first things you said when you were describing the solitude was that it's a 10k what does that refer to um so that has to do with the uh you know the uh, waterproofing in the jacket so okay. you'll see on our website or in our catalog a lot of our pieces for example solitude's a 10k um and then anhydrous is a 30k okay um hydro wow. a 20k so it has to do with the measurement of waterproofing built into the suit and there's there's a whole bunch of other like technical aspects sure. you just have to as as a consumer you want to look at that and say okay if you know i'm going to be in a lot of rain um if you're going to like san Clemente island you're going to want a water a higher waterproofing rate so a 20k minimum 30k preferred Got preferred it. Now, does the waterproofing add any insulation factor, or is it just strictly waterproofing? Yeah, it's strictly waterproofing. It doesn't. When you talk about layers, as far as you know, cold and warm, then you go into like a two, three, or four layer piece that'll break down. You know what's warm and what's not. But for Southern California, you know, solitude's great. The 10K will get you to any offshore location here and keep you dry. Yeah. I, all I can say cheer is that's the jacket that I always put on when we're coming home with the skiff and the yep. spray. And, and I love it. It's great. I, I couldn't tell you what the technical aspect is, but I know it's lightweight and it's stretchy and it's really comfy and, yeah. and it's only a hundred bucks. And, yeah. and nice for traveling too, because totally. it just packs up into yep. nothing. Yeah. Yep. I, I like that thing a lot. Yeah. All right. Very good. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Uh, Appreciate that. All right. Let's jump right back into them and talk to John. John's calling us from Los Alamitos this morning. Hey, John, welcome to the show. Good morning, guys. Uh, uh, such a great. I'm looking at my catalog right now. It's funny that AFCO's doing a seminar today, but uh, <laughs> I was wondering about the Barracuda. Uh, I always get hot, and I'm always taking my clothes off on the fishing boat because I just get too hot. And uh, the Barracuda looks like a really good uh, shirt. Now, what is, yeah, what is, what's so the Barracuda? absolutely, so Barracuda, um, we launched that about a year ago, and the great thing about that is it's uh, got laser cut holes down the sides of the body um, and under the arms for breathability, and then it has a UPF 40 fabric, um, you know, DWR coated. So the great thing about Barracuda is it's got uh, it's like, like a geocool, so it's mineral infused fabric, so it keeps you cooler. So you know, normally with like a cotton shirt, the more you sweat the wetter it gets and it just sticks mm -hmm. with that barracuda fabric it actually keeps you cooler because there's a little bit of a reaction with the material um cools you down dries very quickly um and gives you the breathability you need so i highly recommend barracuda it's, barracuda it's is amazing like a, it, it's one of those for lack of better it's like a slick sun shirt performance style material right yeah just, okay. just long sleeve only uh, so we, the Barracuda, we have the crew neck available right now in online in some stores. And then there's also the hooded version, oh, which okay. has the built-in face mask and hood that's selectable. Uh -huh. um, the great thing about that is it's similar to Reaper's design. If you want the hood up and not the mask, it just lays at your collar and you don't feel it. But mm -hmm. if you want both of them up, you do have that option. That's cool. That's nice. I have gone to the Barracuda for like going to Palma de Cortez or Rancho Llanero or the tropical stuff in the summertime. Because of that breathability and the cool too it acts it, it really works that geo cool yeah how the heck do you figure that out yeah. you know what i mean i know <laughs> a, a lot of geo cool fabric like where does that come from people a lot smarter than me rick yeah right <laughs> that's yeah. cool hey great that's uh, the barracuda a good choice yeah no yeah. doubt thanks a lot for the call this morning all right well hey let's jump right back into the phones and talk to john from escondido this morning hi john welcome to let's talk hookup Hey, good morning, uh, Rick, Pete, it's, uh, Mark. It, uh, so I have a comment and a question. My comment is on the uh, CyclePro, and uh, it, it's, a, it's a great product. But you know what I love about the most, other than it, it, it catches fish, is the container that it's in. It makes it very easy to pull it out and and keep it, and it doesn't all come unraveled and this and that. Where the other containers, you got to kind of pull it apart, take it off, put it back together. Oh, and then my my question is, on your rain gear, uh, if you wash it, does it lose its ability to uh, you know yeah, it's not uh, you know uh, rain gear anymore? Because sometimes rain gear, when you wash it, it, it loses that. Uh, 
uh, that stuff. Yeah, totally. very good. Totally. Yeah, no, that, <clears throat> that's a great question. Um, so one thing we rec- recommend uh, with our rain gear, and really any rain gear, um, is to use Nick Wax. It's a two-step process, so it's a cleaner and then it's a, a coating. Um, the reason being, your household detergents aren't meant for technical fabrics that we use in our outerwear. Um, and they tend to break down the coatings and the fa- uh, the materials we use. Um, so Nick Wax is sold on our website. Uh, it's sold you know, REI all over the place. Super easy to get. Super easy to get. um, And that will retain all of the waterproofing and technical aspects that are in, you know, the suits that you're purchasing from AFCO or anyone in the market. So do you hand wash with that or you put it in the washing machine? No, so it's a, uh, so you put in the washing machine. So you put one cap full of the cleaner, you run the cycle, and then you take another cap full of the uh, Teflon coating and you pour that in and wash it again. Oh, okay. Um, And the great thing about that is you don't have to do it every time. Usually what I do with my rain suits is every five times I throw it in with the Nick Wax cleaner. Other than that, I spray it off with the hose to get the salt off and I hang it in the garage. Same. So um, great question, but I would definitely take a look at Nick Wax to keep all those properties um, you know, that we strive to get into. And those. that's rather than detergent. Exactly. Yeah, I would I would recommend staying away from detergent. And I'd, I almost say if you don't have Nick Wax, just don't use detergent at all and spray it off. You, uh, you turned me on to that maybe a year, maybe even a little more than a year ago. And there's nothing to it. I mean, it's literally it's literally that. You know, I bought it at REI and you pour a cap full in and yeah and uh and 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 same like it doesn't need it all that often almost like almost like at the end of the year more so we just throw a throw all of that stuff all your raincoats and everything in at one shot and and dump that in and and you know the thing is you know as a consumer when we spend money on a suit naturally in your mind you think okay it's just gonna last forever um but nothing unfortunately in this world does you know so having that nick wax and, and coating it it just keeps it up and it'll, you know, withhold the lifespan of the, the item. Especially if you're making a pretty serious investment. Yeah. I mean, you know, high end killer, you know, outer water gear, it's not cheap. And yeah. uh, if you're going to, if you can get several more years out of something like that, it's a, it's a very worthy cost. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, like in Hydras, for example, is our highest tier right now. And I mean, that suit completes about seven, 800 bucks. So for an extra $20, you can, you know, extend the life of it, you know, seven to 10 years by just using that Nick Wax product. That's cool. There you go. Hey, thanks a lot for the call. Good question. Hey, uh, we have a a question, a a text question that came through our app from Todd of Costa Mesa, and it's a two part. Uh, He says, small skiff, and I run through the islands often and get cold and wet. Is is, is the best SoCal light rain jacket solitude? Well, we already kind of covered that. But then his second question is, so he heard us talking about it. He went online, wanted to buy one, said, I see solitude is sold out. Can you talk about sizing when XL Solitude jacket will be back in stock. Absolutely. So, uh, so Solitude should be back in in the next two weeks okay. um, on our site. And, you know, AFCO fits very true. So if you're an XL, you will want to wear an XL. Um, the great thing about our fit uh, is it's more of a classic fit. So it's not, yes. ta- you know, it's not tapered. So you can layer with it. So if you're an XL and a T, you buy an XL and a Solitude, you still could fit a fleece jacket underneath comfortably. Um, and not have any issues. So one thing I'll say about AFCO sizing versus some other sizing is it definitely runs a little more true to what your size is and, and a little that would be a little larger than say for example um, in a Patagonia uh, right. I would wear like a large jacket and in an AFCO, AFCO I wear a medium jacket I'm kind of like halfway between a yeah. medium and a large in AFCO but the Af- the medium fits me a little better but then again in rain jackets I use a large so right. it's kind of like you have to go to your local dealer and, 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 and try your sizing on yeah you know different categories as well fit differently because of the material you know, if you put on a samurai shirt, uh, you know, I'm an XL and sometimes in some of them, I feel like, wow, it's really big, but the fabric just lays differently on your body right. than a, a cotton tee would. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, Pete, to your point, that's a great option. Go into a, a local dealer, which if you go to afco.com uh, and type in your zip code, it'll pop up anyone in your area. Um, I think he said he was in Costa Mesa. Costa Mesa, yeah. Uh, so I think Angler Center would probably be really close to you, or Longfin as well. They Longfin. have a big assortment. You can go in and try some of the gear on. Okay. Now, he talked about he's a skiff guy. Um, put yourself in those shoes. Is it, and obviously budget is, is, is a big factor too. Are you spending 100 bucks or maybe 200 bucks and getting a full suit of solitude? Or are you a skiff guy and you're investing more money in a higher end suit? Like, will it make that big of a difference? Like, what, what, uh, what would you do if you're in his shoes? You know, if, if I was in his shoes, I, I personally would probably go to our Triton suit, which is a, a bib and jacket. Um, you know, it's a solitude's a great piece, but to have that full coverage of the mm. bib, um, 
you know, couple with the jacket, that suit's a 20 K. So you definitely get double, double the waterproofing okay. in that suit. Um, it's a little bit more durable for the long run. Not that solitude's not it's just, a, sure. I believe that one's a two layer. The, the Triton is, mm-hmm. um, and that would be your kind of not, you know, I hate to say budget cause it's definitely not cheap, but, um, kind of your go-to suit for SoCal now would be that Triton suit. Not spending crazy money, yeah. but still having a pretty darn high end. Right. So Triton, I believe, retails for about four hundred complete, two hundred for the bib, two hundred for the okay. jacket. Yeah, uh, that's a doable amount for sure. Yeah, I know, and that's, I know what you're saying. Yeah, and that's like your end all be all for skiff fishing, Southern California fishing. Like that's going to keep you dry. Uh, you know, it's comfortable. You're going to be able to layer underneath it. Um, and, and I always go back to the stain resistancy just because you know there's a lot of su- you know suits on the market. Unfortunately, you get blood or squid ink on them, and they're toast. Um, with ours, it'll wash right out. Okay. Wash right out. Yeah. yeah. So interesting text here. It must be somebody on the inside. I only saw this one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Barracuda is a mineral because they didn't leave a name, so it must be somebody on the inside. Barracuda is a mineral infused yarn. The Geo Cool refers to the jade crystals that are ground up into powder and infused into the yarn. Yarn then is made into thread thread is made into fabric because it's infused it will never lose its cooling characteristic that's cool who, <laughs> who sent that yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Well, i'm who sure, one of, the, I'm sure one of the marketing guys are uh, on yeah. the inside that's pretty cool yeah, it's got to be somebody on the inside for uh, now, i dig right? that yeah, that was yeah, pretty cool for sure well let's go ahead and jump back in the phone yeah, you got it man well they are packed up pablo and chula vista is up next on let's talk hookup what's up pablo hey buddy how are you guys doing today great, great. Yeah. good morning Hey, I just wanted to call and thank thank uh, the company AFCO for that prize package I won. I mean, those shorts are amazing. I got like four different pair. And the one thing I really like that I got is that Vesto weatherproof uh, vest. That thing is so comfortable and nice and really good looking. And all the other prizes were great. The fillet knife is so sharp. I love that <laughs> thing. But, hey, thanks a lot for everything that I, that I got. Awesome. Thank cool, you. Pablo. Yeah, he was one of the grand prize winners from uh, our San Diego County Ford dealers uh, live remote broadcast. Oh, oh, awesome. AFCO yeah. shopping spree. Yeah, that yeah, was pretty yeah. Sweet. Very cool. Shopping. Right. He had a heck of a shopping spree. <laughs> and, and the good news is, is uh, Ford is back with us for 2021. And right. so we'll be doing another set of four San Diego County ro- live remote broadcasts at the same Those location. So uh, watch for that coming soon. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, all right. Well, with that said, it's time to find out what's going on down south. It's time for the Cast Tours Report with Richard castinator from cast tours and this sketch report today is sponsored by the fish pros of fisherman's processing in san diego looking for a perfect affordable gift fish pros has the answer send a gift pack of their famous spices and rubs the pokey kit smoked fish and the smoked cheese call fisherman's processing at 619-255-2138 or online at fishermansprocessing.com you can have it shipped directly or they can also deliver call for details at fish pros spices and rubs they are the most perfect fisherman oh, gift. Great gift. Great call for sure. Hey, let's talk to the cast man, Richard Castaneda. Buenos dias, Cass. Hey, buenos dias, Ricky. Pedro. Cast man. Hey, uh, you know, the uh, main tourist destination in Mexico right now, I mean, you know, you've got Cancun, you've got uh, Xtapa Zuantanejo, you got Acapulco, but Cabo, man, I'm telling you, people are going to Cabo. Even that mayor in Texas, Told everybody to stay home. He takes off for 14 days in his private jet. Yeah, and he went uh, to Cabo, huh? Oh, yeah, he went to Cabo. So, anyway, Cabo is uh, kind of the happening place right now. And of course, for us in Southern California, easy to get to, either from San Diego, L.A., and you got a, you know, two-hour flight, and you're there. But, uh, anyway, fishing still yeah. is kind of Good. The It's an easy one. Best. Yeah, it is. And that's, uh, that, you know, that fishing out there has been really good. This week, uh, the Wahoo really turned on. Uh, there was multi-catches of Wahoo each day on each boat that went up there and targeted them, both on the um, on the lures and on the uh, the rig baits. Um, so it's, I don't know, the Wahoo just seemed to turn on uh, really. Uh, you know, we, we did pretty well when we were there two weeks ago, but I, I, this was a banner week for Wahoo. Uh, still some 50, 60-pound tuna being caught on those banks up around uh, – Punta Gordo going up in the Sea of Cortez are about a 40-minute run from the marina there at San Jose del Cabo. Um, and there's some cows still being caught at the Gordo, both the inner and the outer Gordo. Uh, I've heard reports of 200, 250-pound yellowfin being caught there. Here again, there are not a lot of them, but if you really work at it, 
get yourself a live bonita, rig it up, and start trolling that bank. Uh, you've got a good chance of getting one of those cows, but you got to put the time in to get it. Uh, as far as the bait situation there, lots of sardinas, a nice, good-sized sardinas this time of year. Uh, of course, along with the uh, caballito and the uh, ballyhoo, the rig baits are for the wahoo. Um, but uh, let me tell you, if you guys want to get away for a quick vacation, hop on those planes out of L.A. and San Diego and uh, even uh, CBX here at Tijuana and get on down there and catch some fish this winter. But it's uh, it's Sounds it's like well. fun to me. Yeah, no doubt. And, of course, they can call Cast Tours and get all the details, and they'll and you'll set them up with the right places at the right time and the boats and the, the right hotel and everything, right? Well, that's our business, man. That's, that's what, what we that's do. That's what you do, right? <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, listen, guys um, – I'll get, give you guys a call next Saturday. I'm uh, heading down to uh, Tusca, Panama with some of the guys that were uh, didn't get to go in April because of the of the COVID. And right. uh, got Doc, yeah, got the got Dr. Gary going, got Kenny going, Jimmy Welch, and a couple other guys. So um, we're gonna go do it, and uh, hopefully we do well. Great, great. Right. Like well, it. make sure Jimmy's in a good mood this time, okay? Give him a beer. He's always in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Castman, so I, I guess we'll miss you next week. Uh, and uh, But we'll talk to you in a couple weeks, right? Yeah, I'll call Saturday. Uh, my flight oh, you'll call Saturday. That, uh, yeah, I got a red-eye flight Saturday night, and then I get back the following Saturday night. So uh, right. the following week I'll be M MIA. All right. All right. Well, I'll, I'll get you the new number, too. <laughs> so uh, make sure we get you that. And in the meantime, if somebody wants to uh, get to you uh, at Cast Tours, how do we do that? 800-593-6510 or on the web at casttours.com. All right. Thanks, Cast Man. See we'll you, talk Cass. to you next Saturday. Take care, boys. Appreciate that very much. All right. Hey, great info going on right now. So much cool stuff to talk about from ASCO. And when we come back, we got more of your phone calls, more great information. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. All of us at the American Angler family want to express appreciation to our regular passengers that fish with us year after year and to the new anglers that came out this last season. We realize how precious your vacation time is, and we are truly grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us. It's important that your experience is memorable from the moment you call the office to the time you step off the boat. Hi, I'm Lori. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414, or check us out at AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. Come fishing with the American Angler family and make a memory. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Ranch Lanero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-646. 2252 1-800-646-BAHA and RanchoLeonero.com I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. Dana Landing in Mission Bay is truly the one-stop shop for a great day on the water. This is Chelsea. Come see me and our expert fishing staff for just about anything you need for a great day of on-the-water fun. Looking for a fishing charter? Dana Landing has you covered with the blackjack. Perfect for up to four anglers or the impulse with up to six. Dana Landing has a huge selection with everything you need to catch small bay bass or giant tuna. We will be sure to set you up with the right gear. We even offer real repair and Mexican and California fishing licenses. Don't don't forget the amazing deli at Dana Landing with all the food, ice, and beverages you need to complete your day. Need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle with all the finest rods and reels, the hottest freshwater lures, and live bait. ECBT has an amazing staff who love to share their passion for fishing. East County Bait and Tackle is located at the end of the 67 Freeway on Main Street and Lakeside. And Dana Landing is next to the Dana Launch Ramp on San Diego's Mission Bay. Check out DanaLanding.com for more details. 
Cast Tours is a family-owned and operated travel company that specializes in taking you to great fishing destinations. They take pride in providing the best and most affordable vacation packages available. For over 20 years, Cast Tours has been creating unique sport fishing and vacation trips. Whether it's a fishing trip, a family vacation, or an adventure, they will provide you the service and value you deserve. Call Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or check casttours.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up. Having a great time here this morning. Phones are already packed solid, every line full. But if you want to get through, we got so many great opportunities. 833-288-0973. Not only your chance to talk to Matt, but also your shot at winning that killer AFCO prize pack. Yeah, indeed. And uh, we've had several texts this morning uh, referencing an email blast that we did uh, this week, uh, thanks to Bill, about our uh, move next weekend to uh, the Mightier 1090 AM. Uh, yes, we are moving moving the show over to the Mighty Year 1090 next Saturday and Sunday. And yes, the app will still be the same. It, you, you'll see a totally seamless operation from the app. Uh, if you use the app, nothing's going to change on the app. It'll just be switched over by our buddy Adam Clark. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're uh, we're excited for the move. I, and I, I will reference uh, all the people at the fan for over the 19 months that we've been there have just been fantastic. Totally. And uh, we sure appreciate everything they do. They do a fantastic job. It's a fantastic radio station. And uh, we're very grateful for all the support and uh, and guidance that they've given us over the, the, the past 19 months, uh, especially Rob Pickard and and. And of course, Dave, who's on the board there, everybody and, really. and Adam, been they've great. all been fantastic yeah. people to us. And we very much appreciate everything that they do. But yes, we are moving next Saturday to the mightier 1090, 1090 AM. So those of you in LA and Orange County that don't use the app uh, can actually tune in on the radio. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, excellent. Well yeah. said. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into those phones. It's packed. They are Carl and Escondido. You're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. What's up, Carl? Hey, not much. Hey, my question is, what sizes do your uh, rain jackets come in? Because I'm a pretty big guy. Um, so, good question. Uh, right now, uh, like our Anhydra suit goes small to 2X. Um, our Hydronaut suit goes small to 3X. But we are launching a big guy series um, throughout our line. So, we're taking key products like, you know, the Hydronaut suit going up to 5X. Um, the Reaper hoodie will go up to 5X Shadow. Um, there's a whole variety. 5X, of, that's a big one. Yeah, uh, which brings me to a good point to uh, all the listeners out there. If you are a 3X or 4X and you would like to be a fit model for us, um, we do need people to come into the office uh, if you're comfortable um, and, and try on some of these new products and see how the fit is. Um, the best way to get a hold of us if you are interested is emailing our customer service line and just putting in the subject LTH fit model. Um, and we'll give you guys some information. And if you're interested, we'd be more than happy to have you. And oh. and I would guess that if you're going to be a fit model, you're probably going to be wearing some of that AFCO, <laughs> aren't you? We'll, we'll get you taken care of. Let's say that. <laughs> okay. So, what a smart deal, though, that is on your guys' part. So rather than just making a 2X one, you know, a little, uh, we're going to make it a little wider and a little bigger, you're... You you physically do that. You bring people in, and this is how it is. And does it still lay right? And does it not? And what whatever. Yeah, and you know the interesting thing for the like what we would consider our big guy series three X to five X is there's a lot of different grading in the construction of the items to make it comfortable for people who are in those sizes. Um, it's a lot different than you know an XL or two X, which is pretty standard sizing. Mm -hmm. um, and we've had a lot of requests over the years, uh, and really it's just increasingly been more of a popular thing. Hey, do you guys make a four X? You make a 5X. Um, so it's really cool that we're able to add that to the line. And, um, you know, everyone out there interested in those items, you'll see more of that roll out uh, early next year into, into late fall 2021. Cool. Wow. So you're looking for 3X, 4X, and 5X models? Yeah, preferably that 3X and 4X. Okay. Uh, if you send an email in, either, you know, myself or one of the customer service uh, team will reach out to you um, and just get some basic measurements uh, as far as waist and chest um, for what we're looking for. So what's the email address? 
Uh, so you can go, it's uh, AFCO customer service at AFCO.com, uh, or you can just chat in our on our website. Okay. Uh, and then just re- make reference, you heard Matt talking about it on, exactly, on Let's Talk yeah. Hook Up, and if uh, you just, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a model for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's great. You know, we really love getting fishermen in. I mean, you know, we can, you know, easily call an agency, but those guys aren't fishermen. They don't understand the yeah. needs that. Totally. I think that's so smart. Yeah. I think that's so yeah. smart. You Real guys. deal stuff. Totally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's how they st- developed the M01 short, right? from the beginning yeah, right the, exactly one still, of the first pieces of clothing that afco was involved still in. going strong too yeah isn't that amazing <laughs> yeah how i would say how many clothing companies can say that the very first short that they made is you know you could still buy today like you know and it's it's funny because you know there's a lot of talk in the office as far as how great the reaper's doing and and cody shed he loves to remind us he's like as great as the reaper is it still doesn't beat mo one and mo one's been in the line for you know 35 years or <laughs> yeah. whatever that is you know that's cool uh so it's great that's right indeed hey Bart Hall's on the line. Good morning, Bart. Hi, Bart. Good morning, everyone. A wonderful show as usual. Thank you, Bart. Good morning, um, Bart. I just want to tell you, I was uh, proud to say that Mr. Bill Shedd himself asked me to be a model for the big line. Come you know, on. Yeah. 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 Right. Than both. Sweet. Yeah. I'm That's very cool. excited about that big line coming out. Yeah, for sure. That, so you're gonna. So one of the models is gonna be Bart Hall. All right. We'll know it's good. Uh, yeah. Well, I I did this a couple of years ago with Bill. I I've, I've been, you know, I love their products, but for us big guys, it, they they haven't fit very well. So uh, so I used to buy two shirts, and you'd see me at the show wearing the same shirt that everybody else was wearing because we like to wear AFCO products. But I would take a shirt and I would uh, one of my I cut it up and I put. Uh, panels in it so that it was larger and it looked fine and bill says i won't have to do that anymore it's all going to fit and uh it, yeah it, and i went down there you know it's not a pretty sight to see me without my shirt but i would i would go down there before and i would take my my uh, clothes off and i would say here look i'm gonna put, put this shirt on for you and i'll show you what happens and so it's been a process and i'm really excited to see this coming i think it's going to be a real hit for apco because there's a lot of, of fishermen who are larger than normal size right matt right and the, the great thing bart i think you love wearing our wrangle uh woven shirt which now we're going to have in that 3x to 5x um, and I, actually, my mom just texted me, and the big guy hydronaut for our outdoor suit is online in, in 3X. Oh, really? Now. Yeah. So the hydronaut, you. which is a great, great rain suit. Yeah. So that yeah. is live. Is that 3X? Uh, that will go up to 5X. It'll go up to 5X? Yeah. Wow. You so. have to get one of those, Bart. Well, yeah, but it's not just the Xs. It's how, it's how they... You know, I, 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 then that's what that's what he's smart by having people come in and they're they're still adjusting it, and that's the point. It's not yeah. just a size. It's not because five eggs could be for tall or big, and you know, and and you have to. Uh, there's a there's a there's a range in there, and, and I'm I'm hoping that these this clothing, and I'm sure it will because they're taking all the precautions. Will include the big guy, not just the tall guy. So that's, that's yeah. how that works. Well, the other thing AFCO also caters to a lot of are kids' clothing too, right? Yeah. So over the years, our kids' lines grown tremendously. Um, our, our rhyme to reason with that line is just taking items that worked really well in the men's line and, and creating them in youth sizes. So, you know, now you'll see a youth samurai sun protection shirts. You'll see a youth reaper. Oh, um, no kidding. Youth shorts. Everything that we've you know known to love. Um, wearing on the water you can now get for your kids and I know growing up as a kid uh, when AFCO was doing Guy Harvey we always had you know the like father like son shirts and stuff so it's cool to see you know you can get your kid a reaper and match on the water Um, same thing with the women's line you know the women's line that we have has grown tremendously over the years as well and same thing with that I mean there's definitely some specific items for women that that we produce but there's a lot of items that hey it's worked great in men's we're doing it women's Uh, the most recent one is the women's hydronaut suit you know for a long time we've getting requests for a really nice good quality uh outerwear suit for women and, and that's going to launch i think we get those in stock in about a week really uh, so yeah. women's hydronaut which is a uh, it's a bib and a jacket that's all rainproof waterproof the whole deal yeah so it's a two-layer um 20k waterproof uh system uh the cool thing about it is it keeps you warm uh it has really nice comfort straps that are adjustable so it's not your traditional bib strap that digs in um it evenly disperses the the fabric over the top of your shoulder Uh um and what really cool thing about it too uh, 
is the speed vent hood. So you can have the hood up going 40 across the water and air passes through two back channels behind the hood. Wow. Uh, keeps it up. Wow. So. That thing like revolutionized the freshwater, the freshwater bass guy, right? So the guy that's zipping across his lake in a bass boat, like, which is just not a thing that I've, my boat doesn't go fast enough to worry about that. But like, you know, you were saying a huge deal is the guys that were wearing a suit like that. If their hood wasn't up, their hood would be flapping and catching the wind and blowing off or vice versa. So you guys, part of the, part of the design in that suit was for that guy. <laughs> yeah. And you know, in the freshwater scene, we've grown tremendously over the last two years and, you know, they have the luxury of doing about 70 plus in some of those bass <laughs> boats. Crazy. Uh, yeah. yeah, but what about running across to Clemente with Benny Florentino so, totally. on the, on the skiff, totally. too? That hydronaut is ideal. Oh, yeah. And the other thing hydronaut's great for is winter lobster hooping, too. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah, yeah. I'll bet. ideal for and that. The great thing about lobster hooping in it is it has a neoprene wrist. Um, so, when, you know, when you're pulling the hoops up or even when you're reaching into the bait tank, you're not going to get water soaking the layers underneath. Oh. Um, it keeps the water out. And it's funny, I fish with uh, Benny Florentino. Florentino probably about God, three weeks ago and he was wearing hydronaut over to the island yeah. and you know it was uh you know super foggy out uh the water was really calm but you know you just get that a lot of that mist and sure kept them warm kept them dry yeah. so and then when it, it warms up you just shed it off and uh right put the other layers on and you know uh when i wear a jacket and a bib at the island i'm usually taking the jacket off and i fish in the bib throughout the day and you know even though it's meant to keep you warm it's still super comfortable to wear yeah no question i like fishing in bibs too just because at the end of it when you when you're done and you get back in the truck you clip two clips and the thing comes off and you're perfectly clean and yeah, yeah. you're just not all salted up it's just nice yeah super super comfortable and uh, it's a great great addition that we've had indeed cool hey thanks a lot for the phone call or thanks a lot Bart Bart, Bart yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Bart, Bart we got, forgot where we were yeah. thanks Bart oh, for, uh, can we call yeah, you a I, supermodel I now what can we call you a supermodel now well, you, you can, as a matter of fact. I prefer to be called a supermodel because I... <laughs> okay, <laughs> hey, Bart, are you going to be uh, at the uh, Fred Hall runway show when we have him? Uh, you bet I'll be at the runway show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you, Bart. Nice to hear from you, Bart. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Appreciate All that. All right. All right, let's go ahead and jump back on the phone. You got it, man. They are packed solid. Dan and El Cajon is up next on Let's Talk Cook Up. What's up, Dan? Hey, good morning, guys. I have... Um, Two questions. Uh, the first one is the uh, the knives. What is the proper way to sharpen them? And the second one is with the great wisdom of our governor, and he starts shutting everything down. Is that going to affect APCO, or are you guys considered a? Uh, uh, or, or are you guys out of out of that loop? I know my business. I get to stay open. So. Good question. Um, so I'll start with the knives. So, um, you know, our knives you could take to a stone, no problem. Uh, there is a coating on the exterior that I'll start to chip away at the, you know, at the blade towards the end. Um, one thing I like to remind people as well with our knives is they're really high quality German steel. So usually your first use when you clean them off, sometimes you'll get what looks to be rust coming through that uh, coating and you wipe that off and it will never happen again. Um, it's just the remaining carbon that was left in the blade surfacing. Um, so, you know, we've had a few people, they use it the first time and they're like, oh, it's already rusting. Well, if you just take a sponge, some gentle, you know, uh, dishwashing detergent and just wipe it off, it'll clean it up and it won't, uh, you know, occur for the life of the blade again. Um, and then as far as the, the lockdowns, you know, um, AFCO traditionally, you know, we have about 80 employees and we've been really blessed actually through the lockdown. We've been able to stay open and stay shipping. Um, one thing we did when, you know, COVID first hit, we started selling face masks. Um, and that's been a really good business for us. We have a program. It's a buy one, get one. So for every mask that people purchase, we donate a mask to someone in need. So if that's wow. a fire department, uh, you know, police department, a nursing home. Um, and to date, I think we're close to 200,000 masks donated total. Wow. Uh, for you guys. That's so, cool. you know, if things change and you know we we go back to and you know a little little less ideal world than we want to be in and you know afco will stay open and we'll just stick to that program of shipping masks uh, and getting them to people in need there you go all, all right. right that's cool thanks a lot for the call this morning hey, when we come back we got a lot more let's talk hook up coming your way more of your phone calls we're going to check in with the catch report find out what's biting up and down the beach you stay tuned you're listening to let's talk hook up on the let's talk hook up app and radio network if you're looking for a high quality cocktail that's also easy to enjoy on your next fishing trip check out cutwater spirits lineup of canned cocktails cutwater's master distiller and co-founder yusuf Cherney is a hardcore fisherman in fact he developed cutwater with all his favorite adventures in mind 
Yusuf takes Cutwater's award-winning spirits, uses them to make real cocktails, and then puts them into cans so you can take them anywhere. It's like they were made for fishing because they were actually made for fishing. Check out their popular canned margarita made with real tequila, the zesty vodka mule, or the spicy Bloody Mary, which has some serious bite. They also make super refreshing vodka sodas in grapefruit, lime, and cucumber flavors. Just crack the can and enjoy a bar-quality cocktail even when there's no bar in sight. Back at the dock or at your evening Anchorage and Catalina, Cutwater cocktails are exactly what you need for your next fishing trip. You can check out all 18 of Cutwater's canned cocktails at cutwaterspirits.com and then look for them at your local liquor store. Then go ahead and set your cocktail free. Please enjoy responsibly. Pete here to tell you about our friends Jim and Mary and their incredible crew at Poway Valley Collision. I hear it all the time. Hey, I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, and you were right. Mentioned you guys, and they gave us the VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say, Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them now, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And I'm not fooling. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, and Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. I had my car repaired at Poway Valley Collision, and the job was perfect. So get your vehicle fixed right at Poway Valley Collision. 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check powayvalleycollision.com. Shimano has done it again. An amazingly Lever Drag 2 Speed Reel at an affordable price. It's Speedmaster 2, the extremely durable, high-performance Speedmaster 2 with high maximum drag power and a smooth, ultra-wide range of drag adjustability is an absolute fish-fighting machine. Its rigid hoggedy body prevents misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest loads, plus a spare drag cam is included for optimal use with monofilament lines. The Speedmaster is now available in four models, 12, 16, 20, and 25. This is the perfect reel for the angler looking for a powerful, lightweight, smooth casting reel for tuna or other powerful saltwater game fish at more affordable price. Nothing in its class can match the Shimano Speedmaster 2, built to provide high-end performance and durability in a compact, lightweight frame. Get the Shimano Speedmaster 2 lever drag reel at your local Shimano dealer. Check Shimano.com for all the details. A top fleet and superb fishing is what Seaforth Sport Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, it's no wonder Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, El Gato Dos, Pride, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus the new Seaforth, Sea-Watch, and San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or regular open party schedule, check Seaforth. Seaforthlanding.com, run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. Your San Diego County Ford dealer knows that vehicles are not one size fits all and they have a variety to choose from to suit your individual wants and needs. Looking for a truck to handle both work and play? The legendary F-150 has you covered with its military grade aluminum alloy body and high strength steel frame and smart technology like the available pro trailer backup assist to help you back up your boat with the turn of a dial. Or do you need a vehicle that's ready for your next adventure? The Ford Ranger is standing by so grab your gear and let's go. This adventure-ready truck has an available terrain management system that has four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Is an SUV more your speed? No problem. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have those too. The 2020 Ford Explorer has been completely redesigned inside and out and has available third-row power-fold seats to easily accommodate more passengers or cargo and available twin-panel moonroof to let the outdoors in. Visit by Ford now.com to learn more or visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. 